I'm gonna take you, the Prezi beginner, through a few simple steps to create your very first Prezi video. It's actually much, much easier than you would expect it to be. And if you've seen any of my examples online of Prezi videos, then I'm actually creating things from scratch with bespoke Prezi designs. So if that's something you'd also like to do, I'm gonna create a second video to accompany this one for people who wanna take things to a slightly more advanced level. But if you do just wanna get going with Prezi video, let's go. So the first thing to mention, of course, is that you do need to have a Prezi license. That's pretty much a given for this. Um, all Prezi licenses are being offered the uh, access to Prezi video right now. So you can see as soon as I log in to my Prezi license online, on the left hand side here, I can actually click on the videos option and very, very quickly get into this. I can press the create new video button and actually create a brand new Prezi video directly from my Google Chrome browser. You can also, if you want to, download the Prezi video desktop application, which is actually my preferred way of working with this. Um, it doesn't really matter too much which way you decide to do this. I'm going to open the Prezi desktop software here just to make things nice and easy. And the very first thing I'm going to do is create a new video. So I'm going to press this big purple button here. You can't really miss it on the Prezi software or on the Prezi website that we just saw. I'm going to create a new video. So a couple of things to mention here about this screen. Uh, over on the left hand side, we've actually got three little thumbnails and these are just giving you a preview of the template that I have selected at the moment. So the templates are over here on the right hand side. And you can see that Prezi is really just taking me through these simple steps to get going. I can click on any of these templates just like I would if I was creating just a standard Prezi presentation that always presents you with great templates before you get going adding content. So here are some really lovely ones that I can choose from. Uh, some of them have content on the right, some of them have content on the left, uh, and you can really just kind of get a good feel for how these are going to look once you do start adding content to them. Quite a nice thing as well is that some of them have animated GIFs uh, inserted into them. There are some lovely ones that have that at the very bottom here. If I just click to this one. You can see that there's a sort of background images that are moving there. Uh, so really, really nice. I'm gonna stick with this one for now. Once you've chosen your template, you can go back and change it uh, if you don't like it once you start adding content. So at the bottom of the screen, I'm now gonna click on the content button. And then you can see over on the right hand side, I can, of course, add my content. The very first thing I wanna do is add some text. So let's enter a title, uh, let's call this how to make a Prezi video. There we go. And below the text field, you can see I can uh, add an image or I can import a PowerPoint slide. So again, the image option, if I click on that, actually links directly into my laptop. So I can search for an image that I have on my machine or I can import a PowerPoint slide from a deck that I have on my machine. But the search panel just below that, um, let's look for something that links to video. Here we go, that actually brings in lots and lots of different icons linking from the Prezi uh, icons library. And let's just quickly find uh, something, anything will do. There we go, a nice icon to represent video as well. So I can bring in any of those different uh, pieces of media. And then once I've populated that first screen, that first part of my Prezi video content, I can then go to the top left-hand corner of the Prezi video software and press the plus sign to add my next piece of content. So let's talk about here uh, adding media 
there we go. And again, I can add an image, I can insert an image, insert a PowerPoint slide or search for another icon. So let's search for an icon uh, that links to media. There we go, this will do, drop that in. And then on the left hand side again, press the plus sign. Now, obviously I wouldn't recommend you just make this up as you go along. Like any good presentation, you need to start with pen and pad first, plan your content, plan your story. But hopefully what you can see here is that the process of actually adding content into the Prezi video software is very, very simple. The great thing about this as well is that you can see yourself directly in the software so you know how you're gonna be able to interact with this once it comes to our next step, which is actually presenting. So let's just imagine that we have added lots of content. I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the screen here again and click on video conference. And what that will do is you can see it shifts the Prezi video software uh, away from view for now. And it asks me to choose one of the following online presentation tools. So I can choose WebEx, obviously the most widely used software for online presenting. Uh, GoToMeeting, which is my personal preference, that's the system I use. And of course, Zoom, which seems to be uh, increasing in popularity right now for obvious reasons. Um, it also works with a variety of different conferencing apps as well. So things like Microsoft Teams, YouTube, uh, Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live. There's a whole host of other options that you can use this with. But what I'm going to do is choose GoToMeeting. And you'll see that that brings up another box. And at the moment it says disconnected. Now that's because I don't have a GoToMeeting uh, live right now, but I'm going to change that. And so with my go to meeting control panel, I'm actually going to create a brand new meeting right now. And I'm just going to move this little Prezi video window out of the way. And you'll see that as the go to meeting software kicks in, um, it will ask me, of course, to specify a microphone and a camera, just like every online presenting tool does. But what I need to do is go up here to the settings. And of course, this is just GoToMeeting. So you'll need to do the same thing with Zoom or WebEx or whatever it is you decide to use. And you can see that in the drop down here for my camera options, this would normally be set to just FaceTime HD camera because I'm using a, an Apple laptop right now. I just need to change that to Br uh, Prezi Video Virtual Camera and I'm good to go. So as soon as I've done that and I click OK, I'm ready, we will see in just a second that this will become live. There we go, we can see that the status has just changed to connected. And when I press done, that brings me back into my Prezi video software. And of course I would have other people joining my GoToMeeting right now. I do a lot of uh, Goto webinars, so I normally fire up my software about 10 minutes or so before the actual webinar takes place. I make the connection between the Prezi video software and the GoToMeeting or the GoToWebinar. Um, and then when it's time to start the webinar, everything is in place, everything is linked up and connected. And what my audience will actually see is not this entire Prezi video software, they will actually only see this bit. So I'm just cropping that on my video now so you get an idea there. They won't actually see the Prezi video software itself. They will just see you interacting with your content and presenting. And one thing I recommend as well is that you do use a wireless clicker when you're presenting with Prezi video. Now, one other thing that's extremely useful is that um, if you don't want to host a live session and use Prezi video, which I recommend you do because it's really, really engaging for the audience, but if you don't want to do that and you just want to create a more interesting video uh, that brings you and your content closer together and then share that on social media, maybe upload it to your YouTube channel, you can just click the record button below. So this is how I created the intro at the start of this video. I just uh, fired up the Prezi video software, added a few bits of content, and then I hit that record button. Now the nice thing you can do with this is pause halfway through your videos as well should you need to. And there's some interesting stuff you could play around with 
in doing that. So I'm just going to hit the start recording button. It gives you a countdown, which is really nice. And now this is being recorded. So this is going to be a little bit weird when I stop and play this back in a second. Um, but once you've recorded your entire video, doesn't matter how long the video is, you obviously just press the pause button below. You can see the recording is now paused. If I wanted to maybe move position uh, or introduce maybe a product onto the screen, I could then press the resume button up here, down here at the bottom again, and that would make a, a nice interesting transition in my Prezi video there when people play it back from my YouTube channel or wherever it may be hosted. Um, I'm not gonna do that though. I'm actually just gonna press done recording over here on the right hand side. Here's a uh, preview of my recording. I'll take the volume right down, press the play button. So you can see it actually just plays that back for you. You can review it and you can also trim it directly inside here as well. So one of the things I find is that I do tend to have um, a, a, an introduction where I maybe want to trim off the first second or two because I didn't uh, time, it, time it right. So all I have to do is hover over my video uh, and just trim the various uh, bits out from the beginning or the end. Hit the trim button and then I can press save and share. Now with saving and sharing, I can upload the video to my Prezi account and this is highly recommended. If you've got a great video you wanna share uh, and you don't have a YouTube channel or anything like that, upload it to Prezi and I'll show you where this goes in just a second. And then you can share the link directly from the Prezi website for people to go to. If you do have a YouTube channel uh, or a Vimeo account or a Wistia account and you wanna host the video there, just press save file. I always choose the original size to keep that um, video as it was intended. Save that onto your computer and then of course you can upload it and do whatever you want with it. So there are some really, really great ways of creating really engaging content like I'm creating here very, very quickly, saving it onto your machine and then having the option to do whatever you want with that content and uploading it directly to the Prezi website. So just to show you quickly, those videos when you do upload them, go into your account. Obviously, they are linked directly to your account. Here's a few that I've already created, and I can click on these and get more information on them. So even from here, I can download this video if I want to, if maybe I forgot to do that earlier. I can make it public if I want to, which uh, I definitely want to do most of the time, uh, or I could just save it as unlisted if it's just something I wanna save for another time in my Prezi account. But if I make it public, that means that anybody can see it. And then I can just copy the link over here on the left, post that out onto social media, do whatever I want with it. And of course, that's gonna give me maximum exposure for my presentations. So I hope you found that useful in understanding how to make a Prezi video from scratch with very little or none at all Prezi experience. Um, just to recap, those steps very, very quickly are, first of all, you do need to get yourself a Prezi license, of course. Prezi video is available with all Prezi licenses right now. Step two is to plan your content, always very important, regardless of what I would teach you in this video when it comes to presentation design, I would always say grab pen and paper first and plan your content and your story out. Step three is then to use the Prezi video templates that are built into the system. In those templates, of course, you can bring in your own images, you can insert PowerPoint slides if you want to, and you can add icons from Prezi's built-in library. Then step four is to either record a Prezi video or to present live with your Prezi video by connecting it to something like WebEx, GoToMeeting or GoToWebinar and of course Zoom. So I hope you found that really useful. My name is Russell from The Presenter. My email address is on the screen. If you would like a more in-depth a demonstration of the Prezi video software for you and your entire team, 
please reach out to me and I'd be happy to do that free of charge and answer any questions that you might have. Take care and I'll see you again on the next video.